I am very concerned about what this me the message of passing this bylaw says to the rest of the community. I, <laughs> I after you know some time, I went downtown and I looked for the people that I normally find downtown. And like the other delegate said, it's very difficult to find the people now that we normally see downtown. But I found two. Thankfully, with finding respite in a downtown business who was allowing them to warm up and had provided them some food. Um, and I, the one person I met with, very tiny woman, much smaller than me, and she had a black eye. And I asked what happened. And she said that she had been sitting on a sidewalk downtown trying to get some rest, and a gentleman came out of a bar who was very intoxicated and started boot kicking her in the face. Her, her eye socket is broken because of this interaction. Another unhoused gentleman who I know intervened and put himself at risk to, to end this um, interaction and he took her to the hospital. She was not aware that any charges were pressed. In another incident that I witnessed, I was approaching a person that I know to have a conversation with him, a young man. He was standing outside of a store. He wasn't saying anything, he wasn't doing anything harassing, he was just standing outside of a store. I watched somebody who worked for that store very clearly, they were wearing a uniform for that store, come out of the store, tell the person to go away, and with two hands shove that person full in the chest. The, the young person was shocked and tried to stand, you know, steady himself, and he was shoved again. So I walked up. It's helpful in these situations to have a large dog, <laughs> which I do have, and the person who worked in the store went away, and I walked the young person away from the store. And then I waved down a Kingston police officer. I explained what happened, and I asked that person, that police officer, to at least please go speak to the person that worked in that store to say that this is not acceptable, that you cannot treat people this way. The officer laughed at me, and he told me that he wasn't going to do anything, he wasn't going to press charges. If this had happened to me, there would be charges pressed. And he said the reason he wouldn't do it is because he would be laughed at by his peers. My concern is these kind of interactions will get worse by, the, by, by, by this bylaw, if this bylaw passes. Last week, a man was found dead in a tent. A Kingstonian, somebody who grew up here. Two weeks before that, another Kingstonian was found dead in a tent. I'm concerned, as people are pushed further away from places where they feel safe, that we will find more and more people dead somewhere. It's winter tonight is a good example of times when we will probably find people with frostbite, with hypothermia, and people who don't survive this, the kind of temperatures that are coming. Um, I would like to tell you to you know, abolish this. This approach just does not work. This is not the approach that I know works. Speaking with people, providing them supports that make sense for them, not supports that make sense for the people, you know, employers, <laughs> and supports that make sense for the people who need supports, that works better.